Welcome to my show and tell. I would like you guys to know that in order to record these podcasts, you actually have to hit the record button. I was talking for a good 10 minutes before I realized that I hadn't hit the record button. I thought I did, but I didn't. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days, I think. Anywho, my name is Claudie, and this is my podcast. Hi, and welcome. Um, if this is the first time you are watching, you might notice that, or you might not notice, I guess, that I am in a different, um, I want to say location, but it's not technically a new location. I'm a new location within this room. Um, we moved, we moved the, uh, um, the furniture and stuff around in here a little bit. So, a little backstory. Um, my husband bought me, well, he bought the parts for a new computer for me last year, late last year, like after Thanksgiving. Like probably, I know we did a lot, he got a lot of stuff like during um, like Cyber, Cyber Monday, Black Friday sales. And then the parts all came in and, um, and then my dad got sick and stuff just kind of sat there for a little bit, but eventually we did put the computer together and yeah, I got a new computer, which is great, especially for recording videos because my old one was, it would blue screen on me and, um, especially when I was saving the files, just because I think it just took so much, um, so many resources and it just, it wasn't, it's not a bad computer. I mean, it runs pretty much everything else fine. I think I was just saving files at such a high, um, resolution or whatever, or whatever. And it just, um, it just couldn't handle it. So I got a new computer and this one works out pretty good. <laughs> I'm not really, we had one problem, but it was just like a driver issue and we fixed it. But anyway, I've been talking forever about something that's whatever. Um, <laughs> oh goodness. I, um, we bought another desk to, because of the way that the room is set up, when I had, I had rearranged the room, kind of redone it, redid it. Um, I want to say it was a couple of years ago. It was probably more than that. It might have been actually a little bit more than that. But when we did that, we had one desktop and one laptop. You can see the laptop right there. Um, and so when I did that, you know, I put in two long desks. You can see, hopefully this won't make too much noise. We got a new um, floor mat thing too to protect the floors. So it makes a little bit more noise than the rug we were using before. But so you can see, I have two of these. This one is here. This The other one is right next to me here. Which you can't see, but it's right here next to me. And they're not together. There's a little gap between them because I needed, um, I didn't want there to be such a gap over there between the wall and the desk because I will drop stuff back there. So <laughs> I we had to put the little gap there and that's fine. But that was all we had in here and we had the desktop set up where it is right now. That's not really moved. Um, the tower has moved, but um, the monitor, that's my old monitor and speakers and all that. The shelf wasn't there before, but um, we had that there and then my husband was set up where he was facing here and um, he had the laptop and stuff. So, you know, it was fine, except that when we went to go have two desktops instead of a desktop and a laptop, it didn't work out as well because this right here, like there's a window right next to me here. There's a, it's a pretty big window, but it, the monitor would basically take up half the window or I'm mean, not like height wise, but half width wise. And it just, it doesn't work because the cats constantly try to get behind there and he couldn't use the corner because then it's bad, like posture and ergonomics and stuff. So we bought another um, desktop and legs from Ikea. That's where we got the other tables and stuff too. Um, but they don't make the wood, like this is actual wood. I think it's a birch or something like that. Um, but they don't make that anymore. And they do have something that's similar, but it's um, a different thickness. So we just went with um, 
whatever was like the cheapest. I think it was like seven dollars for the desktop and two fifty a piece for the legs. And yeah, I figured it doesn't have to match. It's white. It's pretty nondescript. We got the same legs, but um, you know. It doesn't have to match exactly and I figured you know maybe for like photographing and stuff the white wouldn't necessarily be bad to have just in case. That being said I've still not worked out everything yet. Um, you can see the lighting is not great from this wall because I don't have a window over here or the light right there so I still have to work on that. I'm gonna get like I don't know there's no overhead lighting so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Maybe some clip-on lights or like table lamp or something. It'll be interesting when I try to actually record a tutorial. <sighs> well, hopefully it all goes okay. But yeah, so I mean, it works and I'm really, I'm actually really excited about it. Even though we moved stuff around and added things, it actually feels bigger in here somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. But it used to be um, a bookcase that on this wall and now it's on this wall it's like one of the three shelf bookcases it's not very tall so it's on that wall now with the printer sitting on top of it and then there's a filing cabinet that used to sit under the desk and now it's out in the open but I want to get rid of it I just have to figure out how to never bring papers in my house it's probably not gonna happen <laughs> um, yeah so all that happened not this past weekend but the weekend before that we took everything out of the room, cleaned it up, pulled the rugs up. Um, we just had like throw rugs in here because I was like, oh, these will protect the floors. I mean, they did a little bit, but they weren't thick enough. They were like the really thin woven ones. and They're not bad rugs and they're fine. Like they're just, you know, they got some cat hair on them, but they're fine. And um, we're just going to wash them, you know, probably take them to the laundromat and stick them in those big washing machines and because they're cotton you know and uh, use them somewhere else or I don't know we'll see but anyway this is supposed to be about crafting and I am just talking about my room but I'm excited about it so sorry not sorry <laughs> all right but I will go ahead and start talking about stuff let's see I have notes somewhere um blah, 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 blah. oh I was going to mention, you know, I talked about my ant situation, like the bugs that were trying to like <sighs> infiltrate my house. <laughs> Luckily we had a few days of no rain. It's been hot, this is all get out, but no rain, except for last night, it started raining again. <laughs> but we did have a few days and so we were able to spray the house and fingers crossed, things are, you know, hopefully I've killed them all. I'm not a fan of like using those like chemicals and stuff, but honestly, like I have such a phobia when it comes to like bugs. Like I just I freak out. It's like my the the old like I don't know. It's that old part of my brain that must have been afraid of bugs. <laughs> Genetics. Alright, so I only have one finished object to show you. And it's actually a spinning project. I showed you last time. Um, I think it was still on the spindle. But I have yarn! Now I have actual legitimate, I can use this to make something yarn. Again, I apologize about the lighting and the camera. I'm actually going to order a new camera. It's one that will actually that'll autofocus um, because this one doesn't. But I think you can see... Now this um, was, I believe, I can't remember the percentages, but it was, um, I'm, I'm just going to make it up because I'm pretty sure it's correct, but I think it was 85% Rambouillet and 15% Stellina. I bought this at a wool gathering. Um, it was Rolog's, um, the packaging said 2.5 ounces. I don't think that was true. Um, I could be wrong, and I'm going to weigh the other part that I... I spun on a different spindle like when I was just first trying it out but I am almost positive there's no way <laughs> that this weighed 2.5 ounces because I had almost no waste like I had all spun in there except like one tiny little piece which um had got caught in like when I was spinning it got caught in it and it pulled it out a little bit and I just threw that away 
but it was, I mean, I'm talking about piece by it as in like two strains of fiber. Nothing, you know, not like a big chunk or anything. It was just like two little hairs. Um, I got this from, the shop was Purdy Things, P-U-R-D-Y-T-H-A-N-G-Z, yeah, G-Z. And um, the Rolugs themselves, I mean, they were fine. I mean, I, of course, have no experience with that, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I thought they were okay. And the yarn, actually, it's it's pretty soft. Um, except I, except I know I overspun it in quite a few places and from what I have heard on other podcasts and read about and stuff that can make it feel a little, um, ropey, I guess, but I think I did okay. <laughs> I will totally use this. I don't know on what yet. I'm still thinking about it, but I, I do want to start it soon. Um, when I measured it, it said I had 55 ounces or not 55 ounces, 55 grams and 134 yards. I don't own an Itty Naughty, so I wrapped it around, um, I had a box, but I've since thrown away, but I had a box, and I just wrapped it around the box, and then measured the box. Like, well, when I took it off, I measured the thing, but, um, it was 134 yards after it got bathed and soaked and all that good stuff. It smells good. I used, um, it's a wool wash that I got from Knit Picks. It came in the kit with my blocking mats that I got from there. And I think it's Kookaburra um, brand. And I think it's just like the regular one. They sent two. I think one was for delicates and one wasn't. So I, it was the non-delicate one. And it smells really good. It just smells good. I just want to smell it all the time. I will admit I literally sat like this after it was dry enough. Like, it was dry and everything. <laughs> oh, so, of course, this is my very, very first spinning project. So, I'm sure I didn't do everything correctly or maybe anything correctly. I mean, I got yarn out of it, so I did something right. But, oh, I don't know. I, um, I let it rest and everything, like, again, I had heard you're supposed to do and I read that you were supposed to do. And then I, um, I soaked it after I applied it after I applied it and everything, I soaked it and put the little wool wash in there and then put the water in it and yeah, and soaked it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. It was very thoroughly wet and then I took it out and put it on a towel. Well, I gently squeeze it, not wringing it, but just like gently kind of pressed it between my hands to get some of the water out and then I laid it down on a, um, a towel and then I rolled the towel up and then um, I stepped on it, like I put it on the floor and I, in my bathroom where we've got tile. And I stepped on it to press the extra water out and then hung it up on a, um, a hanger in the shower. I didn't weigh it down or anything because I figured it would be okay if it, if it plumped up a little, like I didn't want it to like unnaturally stretch out or anything. And it did plump up because I measured it before, like before I put it into the, um, into the water, I had, I had, you know, um, wrapped it up and tied it and all of that stuff. So that way it wouldn't be a, knot, a knotted mess. <laughs> and, um, I think it lost about 20 yards actually. So I think that that plumped up quite a bit. I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> If you know, please tell me. Um, but I mean, it did it did pretty good. I also thwacked it before I hung it up, which that's where you take it and you either like do this with it or you take it and you throw it against the wall, not throw it against the wall. You smack it against the wall. And that's what I did. I smacked it against the shower wall. Um, you can see there are some thicker spots, but for the most part, it's, you know, it's fairly consistent, I think. Um, I shouldn't say fairly consistent, it's really not, but there's not such a, a major difference that, you know, I think that I did pretty good. This is about the thickness that it actually, most of it is. So, um, that's probably like a sport weight. I haven't done the wraps per inch, so I have no actual idea, but... 
Hmm. I don't know. I will take it out of its little hank and we'll see if I mess it up really good. So there you go. It's, um, I see people doing this. I don't know what that means, but I think it's like if it's, if the twist is okay or something, I don't really know. I think if it like twists on itself, it's mean something. <laughs> Again, I don't know what I'm doing, but I am very, very happy with this. Um, yeah. Now the way I applied it was I used, um, I had spun this on my uh, Turtle Made Turkish Sindel, which I've got over here. I'll show you in just a second. I had spun it on that and when, when you do that, you end up with like a center pool ball. That did not twist properly, whatever. Um, You end up with a center pull ball. So this is my spindle. It's got the, I still, I put the leader yarn back on it, but. Um, and so when I plied it, what I did is I just worked from both ends of that center pull ball. And then, um, I saw you used up all, I used up every single little like bit of it because I was working to towards the midpoint. So even if it was, if I had tried to split it, it, I don't think would have come out. So, but yeah, so this is my little spindle. I'm actually really, I think I did a pretty good job on this and I was able to get all of that on there and I had room. So I think I could easily get, you know, actually two ounces on here. Um, unless it was maybe like really, really thick or something. I don't know if that would affect it or not, but, um, it, it did pretty, pretty good. I did, I think I did okay. And I'm really happy with it. I kind of want to buy another one of these. Thinking about it. Again, this is from Turtle Mate on Etsy. Um, this is, I've had this a while, probably, um, it's not been a year because I bought my first one in September of last year and it was a smaller one. Um, and then I think I got home and then I think I might have bought another one right away. I wanted the bigger one. She didn't have any there. Um, I, I was at a wool gathering and she was vending there. Her name is um, Jen Kimmery, I believe. And yeah, so you should check it out. She's got a bunch of different stuff in there now, different sizes and a lot more color options. And so I think I might order another one, maybe two. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? Now, I don't really know the appropriate, like, way to hold your hands when you are plying. So I sort of, I know you're supposed to put tension on it. So I, like, wrapped one strand around my pinky like I do when I'm knitting. And I wrapped the other one around, no, around my, around my middle finger. So... And I had it like wrapped around my arm. It was very, I looked a little weird. But I also used my yarn bowl that I got at Kentucky Sheep and Wool. This is from Polly Studios. It has cat hair on the bottom, so that's pretty nice. Extra special for you. And <laughs> what I did is I put the ball, like the, the center pool plied ball in here. And I used the little hook in order to... Um, keep it tension and then I turned this kind of almost away from myself while I was doing it so that way it kind of went up around like this. I wouldn't recommend using the um the separate hole because you will have to cut your yarn if you do that because again you're working towards a center point so it's not two ends that come together so this is I don't he doesn't have a name yet. I've been way behind on naming stuff. <laughs> All right. So so that is all I have for finished objects. I did not, I didn't really do a lot of crafty things this past couple of weeks. Um, I don't know why. I really don't. I just, just haven't felt it <laughs> and I'm not going to force it. So, all right. The next thing that I am working on and you guys have seen, so this is my whips that I'm working on now. Um, these are my socks. On Ravelry, I have these listed as Oi G Biver because, you know, instead of like Roy G Biv, since I started with the orange, 
whatever. Um, I have done the heel. I have a heel. Can you see? I am doing the fish lips kiss heel. And I have I have my tablet so that way I can show you guys stuff. This is by the socks therapist. That's what it looks like. You probably can't read that, but there you go. And um, the pattern is a dollar, so yeah, it's, I think it's worth it. I um I was having some serious problems with it though. I did what she said in the directions to do to like make the template so you can know where to start your heel. And it was not, I, I did it and I did the math that she includes to like double check your work and it didn't work out. So I read to rip back and start over, which was interesting. <laughs> and um, I don't know if maybe my heel is wider or something, but it just didn't seem to work. So I don't know. I probably just have an extra special crazy foot. Whatever. What I ended up doing was I saw I showed you last time I had made like a really tiny one. This time I ended up making a one like a size that will actually fit my foot. Like this goes on my foot. And so I did that so that way I could actually see where it started. So I've got a little stitch marker here. And so I did some ribbing and then I did um, some plain stockinette rows and then I started it. And so I put that on my foot to figure out where I needed to actually start. And it was a little different than what the template said to do. So, but now I know where it's supposed to go to before I start it. So now it works. I do think I might have maybe been able to do like one more row before I started it, but I don't know. Socks will stretch anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, yeah, so you can see I'm just coming along. I've got so I've got the foot done, and I just now started the um, the cuff. And um, it seems to be going okay. I think I did an okay job. Um, there might be one tiny hole, but that's also where the yarn, the, uh, I instead of using the yarn continuously, I used yarn from the other end of the ball. So that way my stripes wouldn't get messed up from the front. So you can see they, they don't. But if they hadn't, all of that would have been over here. And you can see that that's the same color but it was from the other end of the ball. So I have ends on the inside here. And I think that's, there's a slight hole right there, which you probably can't see. Yeah, you can kind of see there. That's from that game I was playing. I forgot to put that on <laughs> mute, sorry. Um, it's Simpsons tapped out, it's pretty fun. Anyway, I am using 1.25 needles from Knit Picks. And it's going okay. Um, it's going okay. <laughs> I, again, just haven't been, I don't know, I just haven't felt it. Um, I, for the yarn, I'm using Knit Picks Felici. And I'm going to show you the other ball because the other, like that one is all all messed up, but this is the other ball that I have. It's Felici, and it's the rainbow colorway. And I like it. It is very soft yarn. Um, I will say that after having to rip back and do the heel a couple of times, it's a little fuzzier there, so I would say this yarn is probably not meant for like the most durable of socks, but they're very comfortable, <laughs> or at least so far when I tried them on. And then I have one other thing that I'm working on. It is the um, Mama Vertebrae. Sorry about the face. Excuse me. Sorry about the noise. Um, it is the Mama Vertebrae by Kelly Brooker. It's Brooker, like like a brook. Er. 
I am using Bernat Cottonish in the Spinning Ginny colorway. It's a really pretty purple color. I actually bought that yarn to make something else with and I changed my mind. I'll show you the pattern real quick. I have it pulled up. I have made one of these before and this is my second one and so far so good. I have, I'm still in the raglan shaping. You can look from the patterns until it's a raglan um, shaping. But so there's that. You can see it is quite open. I am using a size 9 needle and this is DK weight yarn. I wanted it open. My last one was open. The fabric was open and I, I really like it and I've been wearing the heck out of that thing. So I just wanted another one in a different color. And yeah, so that's about as far as I've got. Not about as far. It is as far as I've got. Um, I am going to do this one different than the um, one I did before. I'm dropping things. Um, I am doing the increases on the front part, like the front panel. Um, I'm doing them, I did them as written for a little bit and then I, uh, then I doubled the, um, the rate at which you're increasing because I wanted to have a little bit more coverage on this, like right here, because the one I have now, it comes down, but it kind of wants to go back just I mean, well, it's got a band on it, but it wants to come back, and so it'll show, um, usually I'll wear a tank top or something underneath it, and it'll show, like, the teeniest, tiniest little bit of skin right there, and it's not a big deal, and I can just pull it, but I figured I might just make it a little wider on the front and see if that combats it. Um, I'm using stitch markers. These are those little captive ring. Let's see if I put it my face. The little ring jump ring with a little bead on it. These are kind of hard to see because they're white in color, but let's see. I'll try to put this in the bag. This is in um, a bag by um, Southpaw Creation on Etsy, and it is um, her name's Erin. Give me yarn 418 here on YouTube. You should go check her stuff out. I really, really like her drawstring bags. She has some zipper top bags, and I don't have any from her of that type. But, um, I mean, her stitching and stuff is really nice. I haven't had problems with that. Nothing's fallen apart or anything like that. So, yeah. This is one of the first ones that I bought from her. And it's got little woodland animals on it. Oh, and I'm using, these are my Knit Picks. Or not Knit Picks. Nope. These are my Chow Goo <laughs> uh, red lace needles. These are the interchangeables. Um, I have the set and I love them. Very mucho mucho love them. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm trying to find a way to put these somewhere. I've got a cat laying right here. You can't see. She's right here. She's laying on the router here. <laughs> She's laying on the router. Um, because it's where the warm is. And I forgot my socks were in my um, Fat Squirrel Fiber bag. Fat Squirrel Fibers sock bag. And I love that too. It's got sheep on it. I did buy some things. Oh, it's a few things. Um, only two of them are here. Well, three, I guess. But one, uh, I only, well, two of my orders came in. Let's put it that way. Um, I did order a, a bag from the Fat Squirrel. She, I believe, still has pre-orders up for this really cool fabric. You need to go see it if you like project bags um, with cool fabric. It's got the little cards, the little checkout cards that you got like when you checked out from a library, like a library book. You know, you had to sign your name on it and they stamped the date. Uh, someone scanned that and like put it into a fabric and it's super cute and I had to have it because 
You have to. I really debated just, I was like, I could just buy the fabric. And I was like, I may still buy the fabric. I may buy the bag and then buy the fabric and make, I don't know, like some curtains or something out of it because I just love it. It's just so nice looking. And there were a few other, um, I looked on the, or the fabric website and there were a few other of the same similar style, but they they looked computer generated as opposed to actually like real ones and maybe that person's just really good but I don't think so I think that they might have been real but thanks for that I that I did get I ordered other project bags too I didn't get those yet <laughs> I just I just remembered I got a cup I ordered a couple of bags from Kicks and Giggles she has an Etsy store and they will be here in like um, a month or something. I think she says two to three weeks for shipment. I can't remember now. The bag from the Fat Squirrel won't be here probably for a couple of months um, because she has to order the fabric and get it all done. It's a pre-order, so that's how that works usually. But if you are interested, you should go check out her um, her store. And it's, I believe it's Fat Squirrel Fibers, and it's a big cartel. So if you just Google, I believe you, if you just Google Fat Squirrel Fibers, It'll come up. I ordered some safety eyes. Um, I bought a um, a variety pack. These are actually noses, which are hard to see, but they do little triangles. And then I bought. A variety pack of the eyes. These are all the, just the black, none of the hand painted or anything. And I just got a, a variety of sizes. This I also got from Etsy, and her store is 6060.etsy.com. And she has an art fire um, site as well at 6060eyes.artfire.com. And yeah, they got here. These got here really, really quickly. No big deal. Everything was smooth sailing. And they, um, I haven't used them yet, so I can't do a review or whatever. But they, I'm sure they're fine. Um, it seems like everyone buys eyes from her, so you probably have already heard about her. Um, I bought some stitch markers. These are not ones that I bought this time. These are ones that I've had before. These are the ones that I'm using on the uh, Mama Vertebrae. This was her um, If Pigs Can Fly collection, which I don't think she sells anymore. I think she has the charm, but I think that she doesn't sell the set. But I bet you, if you really wanted one, you could ask and she would do it. Um, it's just got a little flying pig and the cloud, and then it had eight stitch markers. But I ordered more things from her. Um, her packaging or her card has changed a little bit. It comes in this now. And I also ordered a little thing to keep the stitch markers on. So that's why it looks different. It doesn't normally come with this. This was separate. Um, it has just a second. Okay, there we go. It has two lobster clasps. So it's got like this size one. And then this much larger one with a bead and some more beads and stuff in the middle. And then you can order how many ever stitch markers you want. I ordered 16 and she lets you do a custom um, size require request. And I wanted um, eight small and eight medium. And I believe this was called um, Aurora Borealis, and it's this really pretty, I wish the colors would show up, but it's blue, like a blue wire, and then the beads are all different colors. There's the purple, and some kind of clear, and some light yellow, copper looking, like burnt copper, um, a blue, sort of um, a, lot, a really light purple. It's got really light blue, um, a green, so just kind of a variety, and 
it's very pretty. I'm actually really excited about these. Yeah. And I have more from her too that I ordered back when I ordered the When Pigs Can Fly. And I think she still has those in, um, in the shop. And they're black wire with like a white bead. I can't remember what she calls them. It's a clear bead. I think she might call them like frost or something like that. But anyway, I, I've had a good experience with these. So if you're interested, check it out. There are a lot of different sellers that sell this particular type of um, stitch marker. So if you have a favorite, let me know. I um, I think I'm going to get some micro markers from, I can't remember the name of the place. I have them like saved on my shopping cart um, and they're made for like teeny tiny needles and I think I need some for when I'm making socks on the rare occasion that it needs something um, like a stitch marker. But yeah, so it's cute. I really like it. And I'm excited to use it and to use them on stuff. I don't know what I'm going to use them on. We will see. Um, anything else? I'm looking at last week, so that probably doesn't help. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. <sighs> so that's really it, I guess. Like, I've not really been doing a whole lot. Um. I moved the stuff around. I need to move the artwork and things around. You can see this looks behind me. It looks all weird because it's not correct. That's what it looked like when I was sitting over there. But I have a bulletin board with my calendar on it. And I need that to be close to me because it's got some notes and stuff on it that I need. Um, and then there's stuff up there. And I have other things that are already in frames that I need to hang. And I don't know that's going to just be moved around. I just, I don't feel like dealing with it right now. <laughs> so I'll probably deal with that at some point. So this will be kind of evolving. The painting, here we go, the painting. Um, I hate like moving around in this chair because I feel like it makes noise. The painting that you can see there, the black, there we go. My mother painted that. Isn't that cool? My mom paints and draws and does all that kind of artsy stuff and I paint and stuff too but she's better at it than I am <laughs> so I'm okay I'm okay with admitting that it's fine I have a cat over here I'm just gonna ramble and talk about stuff now there's a cat she probably will not come on camera today but she's been just loving that router and I keep like I keep trying to get her off of it because um she sits right on top of it, and that's where its little, like, vent holes are. And I think she's going to, like, cause it to blow up. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> um, I've been watching NCIS and How I Met Your Mother. We're almost done with How I Met Your Mother. We're on the last season, which I have never seen before. Um, I had... We started re-watching the first seasons and stuff, but then we... There was a point where we hadn't seen it anymore. I think it was, like, the last two or three seasons. And so, yeah, we're about done. In CIS, I have been just, I've been watching a lot of that. And I think we're on season six now. Maybe five. I can't remember now. I don't want to give you spoilers and say what's going on in it because you might want to watch it. Um, I'll wait. Oh, one thing that I did watch, and I, I hadn't watched it before, this is not a, like a rewatch for me, was, it's called, um, it's over here on YouTube, and it's called A Trail to Oregon. Um, have you heard, I'm sure you have, it's um the Harry Potter musical, not the play, like the legitimate approved play. This is more like a parody. Um, it's called... A Harry Potter, no, A Very Potter Musical. Yeah, A Very Potter Musical. And then there's the sequel, which is, I can't remember now. A Very Potter sequel? No. I can't remember now. I can't remember the names. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'll put links and stuff if I remember. Because I can't remember now. But they, um, it was like this group of kids 
and they were kids when I guess I started out. Not children, but like college kids. <laughs> and they, um, from uh, University of Michigan, and they started putting on these plays and writing these plays and, you know, like they're humorous, musical-y things. And, um, they did the, the Harry Potter ones, and those were, um, I don't want to say that's like the only thing that they've, they're known for, because I don't think that's true, but, um, maybe the ones that they're most well known for. And it's Star Kid Productions, and I think the YouTube channel is either Star Kid or Star Kid Productions. Again, if I remember, I will put a, a link, or you can just like search for it. It'll come up. It'll come right up. Um, they also do other ones, like other parodies of other things, and they did one of um, it's called Twisted, and it's about Jafar from Aladdin, and it was it was really funny. And then this one, which I think was before then, maybe it was after that, I don't know. But it was it's called A Trail to Oregon, or The Trail to Oregon, and it's a sort of a goof on Oregon Trail, the game. I loved that game. I remember playing that in school, um, and it was on those big floppy disks, like not the little 3.5 ones or whatever they were, but like the big ones. <laughs> like the they're huge. Um, and they actually flop. And they never wanted to work properly. <laughs> but they, um, we played that game a lot when we were kids. We had played that and Where in the World, or Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. I remember distinctly being in, like, grade school playing those. Um, and, yeah. Those were fun. But anyway, so this is a, a musical about that. It's very, very funny. Their stuff is, I would say... It's not for children. Um, I wouldn't say it's like not safe for work exactly because it's, you know, there's, it's not like lewd exactly. I mean, there's not like nudity or anything, but there's language and cursing and topics that might not be best for little ears, but I don't have little ears. So <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny. Um, I watched it one day. And, like, when I was home doing something else, and I just had it on, and, um, and then I, like, last night I, I told my husband, I was like, you should really, like, you should start watching it, because you, you'll think it's hilarious. And he did. And he got through, like, 25 minutes of it, but then it was like, he's like, I'm tired, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> so I was like, okay. But, yeah. Fun stuff. I recommend it if you're interested. Alrighty, well, I've been talking forever. And I'm tired. Not really. I'm actually, I'm tired, like I haven't slept well. Um, I don't know, I might take a nap. I probably shouldn't, it's like 3.30. <laughs> and my husband will be home in like an hour and a half. Um, and I have stuff I need to get done. I need to upload this video too. So, I don't know. I'm just rambling. So I'm going to go. I will talk to you all next time. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. If I forget to put links in, aka I probably will. I'll try. I may not get them today, but I will. I'll get them up eventually. But um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know what's going on. What have you been doing? Like, what are you watching? I need stuff to watch. I always need stuff to watch because I almost always have something going in the background, even if I'm not, um, looking at it. Like, I, that's the reason I like knitting podcasts and stuff, because generally I don't have to watch it intently, because, like, I know kind of what they're doing. But I, um, you know, when I'm working at the computer, doing, you know, work things, and then I have, you know, other stuff going on. I have a, oh, I have a new monitor, so... You know, it's a little bigger than the old one. It's a little bigger than that one back there. I don't know why I told you that. I was looking at the monitor. Let, oh, do you let me know how the glare is on this? Um, I am going to be putting, like, getting some lighting and stuff for, so it's facing me as opposed to coming from, like, the side or the back. But the screen itself, this screen is new, and it, even though I've turned the brightness down, it seems brighter than that one, and I, I don't know why. 
Um, I mean, it's a different brand and everything, but I don't know. And so I turned this down. It's got like different modes and I put it on reading mode, which made the whites not as harsh or bright, I guess. Um, so just let me know how that is. Cause I really don't want you guys to just be constantly like looking at like, just, like white glasses and like, cause that looks creepy, right? <sighs> All right. Let me know. Do you like my mom's painting? I keep pointing the wrong way. Do you like my mom? I, I really love her painting. She gave me that for... I don't actually think it was for a specific um, like holiday or birthday or anything like that. And I actually think I bought her that canvas. Because I bought her some canvas for, um, for Christmas one year. I think that actually might have been one I bought for her. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. It's really cool. Do you guys want to see anything special? Do you want to see the cat eventually? Like, I don't know if I could get her over here now. She's clinging on for dear life. She has claws, so... And she doesn't really fight. Like, she's not a fighter. But she's, um... Come here. She's not interested. She's like, I want to sleep near the sun, woman. <laughs> Leave me alone. <sighs> anyway, more rambling. I will see you all next time. Bye.